Matisse, one of the world's great artists, created a beautiful church at the end of his life. Yet, he was an atheist. And how did this occur? Here's the story behind the story. The famous artist Henri Matisse, during World War II in July of 1943, left his home in Nice, France, to escape the threat of bombing and moved out to Vence in the country to Villa La Rive, about 20 miles from Nice. Dominican nuns ran a nursing home just across the street from Villa La Rive. After the war was over, one of the nuns, Sister Jacques Marie, attended Matisse during a long illness. After Matisse recovered, the two of them remained good friends. Sister Jacques Marie showed Matisse sketches she had made for a stained glass window in a new chapel that was being built. Matisse was persuaded not only to decorate that new chapel, but also to design the entire chapel. Matisse started working on the project in December 1949 and finished in June 1951. The friendship between Sister Jacques Marie and Henri Matisse must have been powerful, as Matisse was an avowed atheist. In fact, Matisse once said, My only religion is love of the work to be created. Now that you know the backstory, let's go inside of Chapelle du Rosary de Vence. After the chapel was completed, Matisse, who had cancer and heart problems over the years, was just too tired to attend the inauguration, but asked the nuns to read a letter. This work has taken me years of exclusive and diligent work, and it is the result of my entire working life. Despite all its imperfections, I consider it to be my masterpiece. Sadly, in 1954, Matisse died at the age of 84. The Matisse Chapel was not without controversy. Many of the nuns thought the chapel was too simple, too abstract. My opinion comes from Matisse himself, from his dedication letter, where he noted, this is my masterpiece despite its imperfections. Perhaps Matisse was seeing the chapel as cold, a bit unfinished, spare. Perhaps he was seeing it as a chapel that was designed by a guy who never spent a lot of time in church. I would love to know your comments about the chapel. Please leave them in the space below.